What up, y'all? Today we're doing pineapple. I love pineapples. I love the shit out of pineapples. I've recently had like a super um, obsession to them. Sorry, y'all. This ooh, keep trying to see. But I've recently had an obsession with these things, and I'm just gonna use this old Christmas plate. And I celebrate Christmas anyway, so yeah. We're gonna use this, and we're gonna talk, guys. We're gonna talk. I'm having a lot on my mind. And yes, this is a butter knife. <laughs> I've been having a lot on my mind, y'all. Just in regards to um, life, right? Like, just the shit that I go through. I told y'all, this is a crazy obsession. Right? But, and this is actually a dress right here, y'all. This big as shit. So I'm like, okay, we use that for my hands. And for putting my garbage. <laughs> but, um, y'all, so much has been going on. I've been realizing so many things. I don't know if y'all feeling me here. But I actually wanted to do this for my daughters because they were feeling down about their hair. And I'm like, uh, hair is fucking beautiful. But I mean, how can I preach that if I'm not wearing it myself, right? But, so, I'm going to run my hair naturally. And I'm going to keep it that way for them. And kind of for me. Because I know y'all don't know this about me, but when, after I had my 10-year-old, I, um, I had that postpartum hair loss bad. It took out the whole middle of my head. So in order to make it all go together, I cut off all around it too. So I've been sporting the fro for oh, I love it. I've been sir <laughs> I've been sporting the fro for ten years, almost eleven. And sometimes you see me go back to like braids or twists or something, but they're not my um, it's not my like main hairstyle. I always go back to the fro. And the only reason I didn't today is because I just took my braids out like a couple days ago, and it's like really um, like it needs to be conditioned and you know clean and stuff so i was like i'll just do these two ponytails so i like to get my mukbangs out on a sunday honey so yeah i was like i'll do this today but y'all i just be having a lot of oh my god Woo! i've been having a lot of stuff on my mind and it's just oh so much so i know you guys don't know this but right now i have a one bedroom apartment and i gotta get some bigger honey because just even just um my bad y'all that's that but even just, like, setting up for this video, if I got to set up the webcam, it's like a whole freaking production. And I'm like, no, I need a room for this. Like, I know I need a room. Where all of this stuff is already pre-set um pre -set up. Because when you're trying to do what you need to do, last one. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Look at that. But when you're trying to do what you need to do, you really need that, um, you need it to already be done really if we're keeping it a bunch and then I just take it guys I go right here and I get all nice and up in there but yeah it's just crazy because you know I'm much more likely to much more likely to put up a video or to cam if it's easier you know what I mean if stuff is already set up go sit down close the door Go sit down, close the door. Oh, things are a little brown. But you know what it's all right, y'all. Close the door, go sit down. That made her bust out in tears, y'all. She's really like a um a magnet to me. Close the door for me, Sabah. So give me um like 10, 15 minutes. Okay? Close the door. Gotta get that other part in. Oh, oh. And then I like to, I think I be getting a little bit of the middle when I be cutting it like this, but shit. I love pineapple. I can love it. But y'all, I'm like, I gotta get a bigger apartment so I can be set up, honey. So I can be set up. Shit, have my room, have all my shit set up, do videos and cam in the same spot, honey. <laughs> but right now, you know, you just gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta do what you gotta do because you gotta make shit happen, right? So, yeah. But also, y'all know something that been weighing heavy on me? I try not to talk about this. I don't even know if I should. But yo, people be mad at you when you make money off of how you look. Shut People be mad than a motherfucker. <laughs> and it's kind of like funny. Because it's like, how are you so mad? And something I got going on. Like, you hella mad for what? And it's not even like you couldn't do it yourself if you wanted to. Shit, you could. This is not something that is exclusively me. And then once I got them like in the long strip things, I just cut them up in a chunk. 
That's what I've been doing. But y'all couldn't see me. I don't know if y'all can see me. But yeah, I cut them up into chunks. And I would like legit eat like three of these a day. It's not funny. But a lot of people say that they um do something for your pH balance. Mine, I actually have a system. I have a system to getting mine to be so amazing. But um, yeah. What was I talking about? But yeah, people be mad at you when you make money off how you look. I mean, they be mad. I mean, piss the fuck off. Be mad as shit, honey. Like, you could do the same fucking thing. Save up your coins like I do. Stop worrying about that shit you insecure about like I do. And do what the fuck you gotta do, shit. This shit be so good, y'all. I swear. Especially if you put, like, some, um... Especially if you put it in the, um... In the fridge. And be all cold and shit. I mean, it ain't bad right now, but you know what I'm saying. It could be cold. Oh, my heart. Mm. Yeah, like people be mad at you. Like, I think, I think my baby daddy found out what I do for a living. Cause he been um, you know, just acting like I got money for everything. And that's one thing about like camming, and like doing stuff associated with camming. You have to continuously do it to continuously get money. Like you have to keep doing it. Ain't no days off. Ain't none of that shit. Like, we'll keep going. And it's like, he just don't get it. Like, it don't matter how much money I got. You still gotta do what you gotta do. It's like so weird. All in all, like, I really try to remember to be thankful for what I had. Like, I don't know if y'all see my morning routine, but I do not have a bed right now. The kids got air beds, and nobody always trying to lay with me. And sometimes I'd be feeling, like, so bad about it. I'm like, yo, I gotta get them out of this. And then I'd be like, no, I should go to work. Cause that's like a steady that's a steady amount of money but see the problem is <laughs> once you figure out you could sell a pair of your panties for 30 to 60 dollars going to a job is like what like it's hard to go back it's hard to even think about going back but that might sound crazy but it's damn sure the truth y'all now think about that i'm like when i was really down on my luck and I was going to a job making, it was like a cleaning job. It was for like four hours. I went Monday through Friday in the evening time. My kids had to go to daycare. They had to eat whatever they was giving them. They had to get vaccines to go there. And it was just like, I was only making like $30, $40 like a day. My, because you know, like the little stuff you get on the side, all of that got cut in half. And I'm just like, for what? For what? You really got to, as a mother, as a person, really, if you're asking me, you really need to have side hustles. Like, side hustles are so important. So much of camming is really a side hustle. Like, selling panties, that's a side hustle. Like, there's no way for anybody to tax that. I don't know if there is, but... It's like, if you know how to braid hair. That's a side hustle. If you know how to cut hair and do nails, if you babysit, that's all side hustles. Babysitting, which reminds me, I have a niece, right, y'all? That lives two blocks away. Maybe that is the boy. Oops. But it's real. She lived too black for me, right? I don't know if I'm in the wrong because her mom doesn't want to, um, like, just won't talk to me now. But she kept trying to get me to watch her. And I had to decline, y'all. Because, I mean, nobody watches my kids. I'd have to be paying a pretty penny. And I just had to decline. No, you know. I just gotta watch her for a couple hours at night, and I'm like, just for you to do what? No. No. <laughs> I used to be sad. Because I'm like, nobody watch my kids. I can't go nowhere. I can't do nothing. And then I kind of just started flowing with the kids. And I realized I actually have a bunch of free time. As long as I do stuff kind of like in the evening or at night or early in the morning. Which, if you ask me, gives me a hell of a lot of wiggle room, honey. Hmm. I don't know the reason why this should be this big. No reason. That'd be so hard for me to eat and talk because I'm one of those people who hate, hate when people eat with their mouth open. Hate it. Well, I think it's because really, it's associated with like um, sexual sounds to me. So I just don't like hearing it unless. Is being done to me. That makes sense. Yeah. You know what? Though? I probably would like it on the man that I like. 
Gabby in the middle there. See that circle? You gotta eat around that circle. Gone. <laughs> got a couple of pieces, but they got some um, some stuff on them. One thing I will say, you need after eating an entire pineapple, even though my kids took like six pieces, is uh, some fucking toothpicks, guys. But this should be all up in your shit. I'm about to go for it. But yeah, y'all, just had some stuff on my mind. I felt like I needed to talk about it. I needed to let y'all in a little bit, cause sometimes it's just good to vent. Y'all can always vent to me. I will either just listen, or we can talk about it, honey. But um, yeah, y'all. I'm gonna wipe off my hands. But. Yeah, I'm actually getting ready to shoot a, um, a how to keep your pH balance correct, honey, video. I probably will not be named that at all, but that's what I'm about to shoot. All about keeping that pH balance right. But yeah, no, I'll see y'all in the next video. I, this is what I do, honey. I be on here, honey. Oh, yeah, and we're like at 36 or 37. We got like 13 or 14 more people, y'all. We almost at that first giveaway, honey. And I'm going to do every giveaway I said I was going to do. And I'm going to send it out the same day we hit 50. As long as it's during the day and the post office is still open. I'm going to send it out the same fucking day. It fucks with y'all. Um, follow me on IG. I'm going to put all of it in the description. I'm going to start actually using the description. But I love y'all. I'll see y'all next time.